July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Thanks to local businesses and dozens of volunteers, more than 500 students in Johnson County are ready to go back to school. Today was the annual Ready Fest in Johnson County, an event organized by the Johnson County Family Resource Center that makes it possible for students to pick up school supplies free of charge just in time for their first day of classes. The response is overwhelming, but then again, that shows the need in Johnson County and in Paintsville. Um, there's so many students that, are, that could possibly go to school without that new backpack or without their own box of crayons. And we just want to make sure that uh, they feel like they belong just as much as any other child. Ready Fest has been going on in Johnson County for more than 20 years. And those who attend for the first time are always surprised by the turnout. Uh, Senator Brandon Smith came to be with us today. And first thing he said when he walked in, did you know that line goes all the way out to the road? It kind of made me a little bit emotional. I looked and saw those little kids in there and you could tell some of them had, they had a need. Uh, and to realize that we had this many people in here, I wasn't sure if there'd be enough inside. Students went to various stations where they stocked up on school supplies as well as other personal items they might need. And Senator Smith said this is the only event of its kind that he knows of in his district. What, a, what an amazing way to go about helping people by bringing the entire community together in one room, uh, one-stop shopping to make sure that everybody walks out of here with stuff that they really need. Students in Johnson County will report to their first day of classes bright and early on August 3rd. Reporting from Johnson County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.